Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this uh, special weekend for all you young sportsmen, deer hunters in Tennessee because this is your time to shine. And as uh, Dave Payne said on the uh, show's first segment, uh, check that deer and uh, bring it field dress to his uh, Dave's Deer Processing right there in Galloway, Tennessee. And you might have a chance to rent a really nice. Yeah, you got a nice prize. Yeah, a whole bunch of prizes right there for the heaviest field dressed deer. Doesn't have to have a lot of antlers and things like that. Hey, now let's switch gears. Uh, uh, we're going to kind of, we'll talk a little trout on a couple of episodes, uh, segments of today's show. And, of course, we always like to hook up with our man who uh, writes probably the most concise uh uh, fishing report that there is out there uh, when it comes to the Arkansas trout fishing streams. Oh, man, I got me a night. Oh, look at this. I'm sorry. Oh, that, that was a stink bug on it. I don't know if that's a bad sign or not, <laughs> but uh, I've never got a hat with a stink bug on it before. But uh, Mike Webb and has, has come in the room, a nice NRA, friends of NRA cap. Uh, I, I assume this is a cigarette lighter. No, I assume that's a knife. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, Mike's going to be on the next segment. But right now, John Barry, Barry Brothers Guide Service, Spring, White, Little Red, uh, North Fork of the White. If, I never know if I pronounced that right or not. But uh, good morning, John. Good morning, Larry. How are you? I'm doing great. And I understand I read your last report, which we all post on LROutdoors.com when it comes in. And this is a quote from John. We are currently having the best fishing conditions in the White Norfolk River that we have had in years. Well, that was earlier in the week. I don't know if that's yeah. still on the go now, but uh, bring us up to date on what's going on. Well, as you know, every time you read my report, I've been telling you for three years that the lakes are high and they're running a double buttload of water. Yes. By the way, that's a technical term. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I don't know if we've ever used that term before on the radio, but uh, butt load made it, I guess, so the ten second rule. Uh, go. This is the double. This is the double butt. Load. The double butt load. Okay, keep on moving. That's why you're on the early part of the show. Okay, so. Right. Uh, but. Um, but now you've already said butt four times. Now if you say another butt, I may have to go off the air here. But. Well. Th- th- <laughs> any, anyway, Larry. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. The lakes are finally down. And we have low water. We're, we're waiting up here. Really? Okay. Yeah. And we're talking about uh, October the 30th today being Saturday. Uh, that's that's unusual. I mean, It's on uh, the bottom. Yes. Yeah. And that means that you're waiting places you don't normally are able to wait, right? I'm waiting in places I hadn't seen in three years. Oh, no, my gosh. Wow. wow. Yeah. Now I don't know if that's good for the farmers, but it's good for the fly fishermen, though, right? I mean, well, yeah. I, I went and looked at the uh, the gauge uh, at Newport, and it was only like six foot. And normally, uh, game and fish or not game and fish, the core manages that for twelve feet, so it's low all the way down to Newport. Wow. wow. Okay. Well, well, we don't want any uh, cyclone bombs or whatever they got in the West Coast to hit us here. Uh, recently, but we have had some rain, but uh, not like we've had in the past. But this has just opened up a bonanza for you guys. I mean, as far oh, yeah. as yeah, I mean, we're it, it has been. Uh, I took a late a young lady. She's uh, a school teacher in Collierville uh-huh. out for her first fishing trip. We waded the Norfolk. She ends up uh, catching more fish than her boyfriend. Uh, okay, um, which included a ninth. A thirteen-inch brook trout. Oh, really? Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, that was a. Now, gr- that's a big brookie anywhere. Yeah, and that's uh, that's also a chance for a pitcher making tank too. I mean. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, when we when we uh, started out, I said my goal today is for you to catch more fish than him. Yes. And, and she th- said my goal today is to catch a bigger fish. Than <laughs> him. And she did them both. Uh, she did them both. So she accomplished them both of them. So what are they? What what are you using right now? And uh, what's going? On? I know now, and we need to throw this really in, John, because uh, come November the first, come Monday, uh, that's the when they the Bull Shoals Dam is closed, right? Uh, to that's accommodate. right. From November one through 
January 31, uh-huh. the catch and release section up by Bolt Shoals Dam is closed, and the state park is catch and release only hmm. because the big browns are moving in there to spawn. Right. And that comes, uh, and I always know, come February 1st, when they open that thing, get out of the way. I mean, uh, well, that's one of those anything that floats days. That's it, is that because <laughs> they are stacked and packed in there. Yes, and every every boat in Baxter County is up there trying to hit one. Trying to hit one, and I, you know, I I, I had a chance to go to the Dale Hollow Fish Hatchery, U.S. Dale Hollow, U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, Fish Hatchery at Dale Hollow earlier this week, and I saw some albino trout. I saw some of the biggest rainbows i've ever seen and i know folks when you go to heber you need to stop off at the fish hatchery there i mean uh well uh, go to the one at norfolk that's Norfolk's what i'm history. yes go that's to the one at norfolk in the united states yes it's unbelievable a chance to see some of those things and then we run into uh and then we get into dry creek we, we can do all these different things but right now uh the leaves are are, are a little late I think they weren't really turning for us yet. I'm thinking it's going to be a November leaf turner now. So I'm assuming that November is a good time for you guys to be on the water, right? Absolutely. And talking about Dry Run Creek, you know the browns move up into Dry Run Creek this time of year. They do? Okay. All right. Yeah, like uh, in in the late fall, about the only thing I catch in Dry Run Creek is big browns. Big brown. Now, I'm going there tomorrow, so I don't want you guys jumping ahead of me. <laughs> okay, okay. Because there are some big browns in Briar Creek Run, right? I mean, uh, well, the biggest I've ever had a kid to land yeah. was 16 pounds. How much? 16 pounds. 16 pounds. And of course, this is a youth only area, right? This is. Right, that's a youth only. That boy was 12 years old. That boy was 12 year old, and he caught, a, he caught a 16 pounder. Okay, he's ruined. He talked about that for a long time. Yeah, yeah. He suddenly. Well, that did. that's day one of fly fishing. Where do you go from there? That yeah, that was right. yeah, that's true. Uh, and of course, we're talking. Yeah, we got one. Yeah, we're we talking, got one up there on. called Old Henry. Old Henry's is he still there? He's still there. The last time he was landed was twenty three pounds. My kids have hooked him four times. One time he wrapped a rock. One time he got in a root wad, and two times he headed south. Oh my gosh! So he's been caught. He's been hooked four no, times. No, he's been hooked. He's been he hooked. Been he's caught. never been brought he's in. There. He's not. He hasn't been brought in. Old Henry, and you think he, he's over twenty three he pounds? He is a monster. My goodness. Uh, well, I think about these things when you look at that and say, "Well, this this is the time." So, well, give us what they're hitting now. What's going on lure wise? What's the presentation that you guys are doing? Okay. Right now, the hot thing is mid. Okay. We're catching them on ruby midges, size 18, and I usually fish that below a pheasant tail nymph. I love it. I love to hear John talk about these pheasant tail nymphs. In those I like to have a job yeah, now, naming on, them. On Dry Run Creek, it's eggs and worms. Eggs and worms on Dry Run Creek. Okay. All brown right. worms been the hot one. And brown worms been the hot one. Okay, on Dry Run Creek. And for folks that need to get information on all this, they can go to your website, right, and find out yep. these things. Or you can just call me, and I'll call me, I'll call me, call me, and tell you. And and we before we let you go, uh, a lot of folks I did not know this that you uh, have been such a wonderful husband. I, I'm so proud of you, John. I mean, uh, uh, five weeks ago, uh, your lovely wife, Laurie. Who we know is pro- is the better fisher person. I mean, I mean, she's told Absolutely. me that. She's told me that, and you have too. Broke her arm. We won't go into all the details, but she is finally back driving. Uh, John's no longer doing her hair. I'm sorry, I, I, that just came out. I didn't. I wasn't even going to mention that, I, but it came out. But, he does uh, it all. But uh, well, until you've done your your wife's hair, you really haven't lived. I bet. Well, my mother wore wigs. I was real advantaged on that. I mean, uh, my mom had wigs up in the closet. My son went in there and spent the night with her the first time, and said, came back home and said, uh, 
Dad, uh, Granny's got heads stuck in her closet up there. And I, I said, "Whoa, I don't, I don't do those kind of things." But uh, well, I, I had to get in there with the dryer and the brush. <laughs> oh my! Y'all read, read his fishing report, and 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 don't just read the report. Go down to the bottom of that latest one and read about his life, what he's done for Lori. I, I feel so sorry for him. I mean, it's, the tears were flowing. From laughter, mostly, not from crying. But, uh, all right, tell them how to get in touch with you again. Well, uh, BarryBrothersGuides.com or 870-435-2169. That's it, and it's all LROutdoors.com. we got all of his fishing reports and everything. And we will talk to you uh, come sometime later next month. Okay, man? Okay, and remember, weightable water, you've been waiting. It's here now. Thank you, John Berry. That's a B E R R Y. You know, that's the way you spell it. B E R R Y, like strawberry. Like strawberry, our blackberry, our raspberry. He, he usually throws in all those flavors. You don't know. Hollyberry. Tell Lori we hope she's doing better. Okay, buddy. All right. Okay. Thank all you right, so much thanks. for thinking of it. All right. All right. John Berry. Yeah, my grandmother had long black hair down her back. She well, that's. She had none what, on her head, but she had long hair down her back. Down her back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. Uh, that was more than, was that the first pun? I was waiting for the pun of the day. No, I got a good one. Here we go. Dave Gabbard, are you ready for a pun? I'm ready. Oh, let's hear it now. Take. A, oh, here we go. All right, this little lady was sitting on a park bench. This guy walked up and sat on the other end. And she kind of looked over to him, and he kind of looked over to her, and she said, are you new in town? He said, yeah, I just got back. She said, got back where you been? He said, I've been in prison. She said, oh, prison? She said, yeah. She said, what you been in prison for? He said, I killed my wife. He said, well, that means you're single. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. So we got to get out of here. Let's take a break. Come right back. Uh, We got a special guest in the studio. It's so good to have people in the studio. Not that me and Shelby, we were okay by ourselves for a long time. But it's good to see smiling face. Got me a new hat. Got me a new knife. Oh, I can't wait to talk about this. We'll be right back on Outdoors with Larry Wright. 